Hello friends, welcome to Prefacts Corners discussion. In this discussion, we will cover important topics like hill surface, climate change assessment, over Indian region report, Jal Jeevan Mission, Dexamata Zone, Pashupatinath Temple, Wall Day to Combat Desertification and Drought. These are the important current topics that has appeared on 17th June 2020. First important article of this discussion is Hill Surface. Recently, fishermen in West Bengal are in for a pleasant surprise amid the COVID-19 gloom as they have exuded hope of a bumper yield of Hilsa known as Machi Ranim, Queen of Fish. About Hill Surface. According to the IUCN status, the fish is listed under the least concerned status. They are the species of fish related to the herring in the family Clupidae. They are very popular and sought after food fish in the Indian subcontinent. The Hilsa fish is the national fish of Bangladesh and the state symbol in the Indian states of West Bengal as well as Tripura. Next article is on assessment of climate change over the Indian region. Recently, the Union Minister of Earth Sciences has released the assessment of climate change over the Indian region report. It is India's first ever national forecast on the impact of global warming on the subcontinent in the coming century. According to the report, the average surface air temperatures over India could rise up by 4.4 degrees Celsius by the end of the century as compared to the period between 1976 and 2005. The rise in temperatures will be even more pronounced in the Hindu Kosh Himalayan region where the average could reach 5.2 degrees Celsius. By 2100, the frequency of warm days and warm nights might also increase by 55% and 70% respectively as compared to the period 1976 to 2005. The incidences of heat waves over the country could also increase by 3 to 4 times. The duration of the occurrence might also increase which was already witnessed by the country in 2019. According to the report, between 1900 to 2018, the average temperatures of India rose by 0.7 degree Celsius. Even if the nationally determined contributions declared by countries under the Paris Agreement 2015 are met, the global average temperature could rise by around 3 degrees Celsius, which could be disastrous. So these are the important facts. The report has laid down in the assessment of climate change over the Indian region published by Union Minister of Earth Sciences. What is representative concentration pathway? A representative concentration pathway is a greenhouse gas concentration, not emissions, trajectory adopted by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. It is defined as a radiative force in what per square meter due to the rising greenhouse gas emissions in the atmosphere. The pathways describe different climate futures, all of which are considered possible depending on the volume of greenhouse gases emitted in the years to come. About Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change It is an intergovernmental body of the United Nations which was established in the year 1988 by the World Meteorological Organization and the United Nations Environment Programme. The IPCC produces reports that contribute to the work of the United Nations Framework Convention on Climate Change. Next important article is Jal Jeevan Mission. Recently, the Jal Sakti Ministry has announced that the laborers returning to their home states due to COVID-19 will be deployed for the Jal Jeevan mission. So what is Jal Jeevan mission? 
The Jal Jeevan Mission aims for providing piped drinking water to all rural households by the year 2024. The Jal Sakti Ministry is the nodal ministry for the implementation of the scheme. The mission envisages supply of 55 liters of water per person per day to every rural household through functional household tape connections by the year 2024. The mission focuses on integrated demand and supply side management of water at the local level. The mission is based on a community approach to water and includes extensive information, education, and communication as a key component of the mission. The mission creates a Jan Andolan for water, thereby making it everyone's priority. The fund sharing pattern between the center and states is 90 is to 10 for Himalayan and northeastern states, 50 is to 50 for other states, and 100 percent for union territories. Next important article is Dexamethasone. It is a low cost, widely used steroid that has become the subject of discussion after researchers from the recovery trial reported that it helps reduce death rates in certain COVID 19 patients. So, what is Dexamethasone? It is an anti inflammatory drug commonly used to treat conditions in which the body's immune system does not function properly and causes inflammation and tissue damage. It reduces the production of the chemicals that causes inflammation. It also reduces the activity of the immune system by affecting the way white blood cells function. It falls in a category called corticosteroids which closely mimic cortisol, the hormone naturally produced by the adrenal glands in humans. It is commonly used in treatment for rheumatological inflammatory conditions, inflammations of muscles, inflammation of blood vessels, chronic arteries, and lupus. It is used in lung disease, kidney inflammation, and eye inflammation, and to reduce swelling associated with tumors of the brain and spine. In cancer patients, it is used to treat nausea and vomiting caused by chemotherapy drugs. Next article is Pasupatinath Temple. Recently, a memorandum of understanding was signed between India and Nepal for the construction of a sanitation facility at the Pasupatinath Temple, which is situated in Kathmandu. The facility will be constructed under the Nepal Bharat Maitri Development Partnership as a high impact community development scheme by India. The Pasupatinath temple is dedicated to Lord Shiva. Pasupatinath is one of the most important religious sites in Asia for devotees of Shiva. It is the largest temple complex in Nepal and stretches on both sides of the Bhagmati river. The temples dedicated to several other Hindu and Buddhist deities surround the temple of Pasupatinath. Only Hindus are allowed through the gates of the main temple. The temple was conferred the status of a world heritage site in 1979 by the United Nations Educational, Scientific and Cultural Organization that is UNESCO. Our last important article of the discussion is World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought. June 17th is observed worldwide as a World Day to Combat Desertification and Drought. This year's theme is Food, Feed and Fiber. The United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification is a legally binding international agreement that links environment and development to sustainable land management. It derives directly from the 1992 Earth Summit, also known as the Rio Summit. 
It was established in 1994 and addresses arid, semi arid, and dry sub humid areas known as the drylands. The Secretariat of the Convention is situated at Bonn, Germany. The Convention is committed to a bottom up approach encouraging the participation of local people in combating desertification and land degradation. Quick revision of the discussion. Hilsa, known as Machir Ranim, is listed as least concerned under Ayush and Red List. It is also the national face of Bangladesh and state symbol in the Indian states of West Bengal and Tripura. The assessment of climate change over the Indian region report is a publication of Union Minister of Earth Sciences. A representative concentration pathway is a greenhouse gas concentration trajectory adopted by the Intergovernmental Panel on Climate Change. The Jal Jeevan mission aims to provide piped drinking water to all rural households by the year 2024. The mission envisages supply of 55 liters of water per person per day to every rural household through functional household tap connections. Dexamethasone is an anti-inflammatory drug commonly used to treat conditions in which the body's immune system does not function properly and causes inflammation and tissue damage. Pashupati Nath Temple is situated at Kathmandu, which is the largest temple complex in Nepal and stretches on both sides of the Bhagavadi River. The United Nations Convention to Combat Desertification is a legally binding international agreement that links environment and development for sustainable land management. Thank you for watching.